three. I guess we can technically call this a research stream. Let's start things off with some fighting because there's going to be a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to have a bunch of time to explain once the combat starts. That's kind of loud, isn't it? Yes. What are we, Sakuraba bias? <laughs> See if I can turn that down a bit. We'll splice in the music later. This video will be pretty much ambient music. <laughs> okay. Star Ocean has a real-time combat system like the previous games in the series. It's a bit of a mess. It's kind of like... I want to say it's like the old uh, Tales of Destiny games, only it's supposed to be in a 3D arena instead of a 2D arena. Let's go over the basics. I'm only going to, I'm only going to hit on the highlights because some of this stuff's pretty obvious. Changing targets. Normally the attack target is automatically set based on the enemy closest to you in the direction you're facing. Which targets by facing another direction. So they want me to choose another target by doing this. That's perfectly fine. And combat gets a bit more heated than that, obviously. Manual targeting. Press the start button. Again, in combat, you have to keep your finger off the attack button if you want to do that. So I can just press start to switch in between them. Okay, that's good. When you manually switch targets, the target will remain on the enemy for a set period of time before the automatic targeting takes over again. Ugh, you know that's going to be annoying. Okay, basic curriculum. Jumping, yeah, uh, the circle button is used for dashing. It's not technically not jumping, at least with this character it's not. Guarding, I forgot I could guard. There are, you're guarding if you're not attacking, pretty much. Guarding is only possible when standing still or while moving. You cannot guard while performing any other action. So basically, if you're swinging, if you're mashing on the attack button, you're not guarding. But if you're not mashing on the, if you're not pressing any of the attack buttons, then yeah, you're guarding. Uh, you're more likely to occur when you're being attacked from the front. Like this. Continue guarding, huh? Okay. Haven't had to use that in combat yet. We'll see how it goes. Rush mode. Press the square button when rush guard gauge is fully charged to activate rush mode. I haven't done this at all yet, actually. I've done, I've done special attacks, but I haven't done rush attacks. So, receiving dam redeeming damage. My rush meter is on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. HP, MP, and rush. It's at 100. Be guard for... I can also... Oh, I forgot about that part. Yeah. Pulling the charge button. Okay. Okay. Square. Increase speed. No more knockbacks when I'm attacked by enemies, and more critical hits. Works for me. Alright, what's next? Yeah, they got rush mode too. Okay, not that. Basic curriculum. Changing the leader. This is pretty obvious, right? L1 or R1 to switch characters. Okay. Come on. Takes the game a while to load up your... Okay. Camera control. Press the R3 button to activate the angle lock, which anchors the camera's position above the battlefield. Press it again to toggle back to the regular camera. Okay. Give it a second. R3. Now it's moving with me. R3. Like that. Okay. I try to keep it zoomed out. Okay. R3. There it is. Yep. Nice little uh, basketball view, I guess. Yeah. It's a bit... It's zoomed out a bit more. Angle lock. Yeah. I prefer this one, actually. Camera doesn't get caught up in the arena. All right. Okay, yeah, basic curriculum. This is practice. We're talking about practice. Press the start button to switch enemies. Let's just pick this. Let's pick the guy who's shooting at us. Okay, they're all shooting at us. Okay, so I'll pick this guy. Yeah, he goes. Ow, ow. Press the circle button to dash around. We'll get to all the other blindside stuff later. Yep.
Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I switched characters. Hold on. Okay, I got him. Alright, that's enough of that. Change curriculum, basics. We're fine. Blind side curriculum. Okay, this is the part I definitely need to explain. Blind side's 101. If you and an enemy are both targeting each other, a target icon will appear around your character. It's, it's sort of a it's sort of a sneak around. It's, it's, it's a way of countering. Press and hold the circle button, which is for jumping for a set amount of time to ready yourself for a blind side, huh? When it's ready, wait for the targeting icon until the this gets a bit hectic in regular combat, and I'm not sure it's going to be all that useful till we get to the really hard boss fights. We'll see how it goes for now. Okay. Get ready for the blind side. Missed. Don't hold the button down too long. There's your blind side. Alright. So I held down the circle button, and then when he attacked me, I pressed the left stick. I moved, I basically I tilted the left stick. So it's like a quick dodge that's what you saw right there so now let's attack him while he's blindsided this takes a while to set up though got him see he's blindsided and now I can mash on the attack button I think I turned on rush mode at the same time anyway always results in a critical hit okay so it basically increases the chances of getting critical hit while he's blindsided Okay, so let's see if we can set this up. Got him. Bunch of critical hits. And that. One more time, huh? Whoops, wasn't paying attention. Come on. Darn, he got me. Try it again. Okay, saw that one coming. Okay, so that's done. Okay, that take, it takes a bit of practice. I've only been playing the game for a couple of hours, so I haven't had a chance to practice that too much. Blindside, using them effectively. Oh, you can only perform a blindside with the enemies in short range. In long range, you can use the same action to quickly move long distances. Okay. Try performing a blindside near the enemy while the enemy is in the short. Okay, so the upper left-hand corner of the screen to read short. Okay, so that's, this is what I've been doing. Top left-hand corner of the screen, see where it says target? Long. And then it'll change to short in just a second. Now it's short. See what I mean? Now let's try this. Hold down the circle button. Turn around, bro. Okay, he's not blind. Hey, he hit me. Come on. I can't hold down that circle button for too long, otherwise I'll, otherwise I'll get dizzy. It's kind of weird. Come on, dingus. He's not doing anything. Okay, I've already done this. Okay, never mind. I have to attack him. It's getting ridiculous. He's right there and he's not attacking me. There he is. Okay, eventually he saw me. He's gonna see me, and then he's gonna try and attack me. So give him a second. Okay, here we go. Got him. So that's done. Okay, so try it one more time, huh? So I have to wait for him to target me. Come on. There he goes. Missed. See? Now he's gonna... He has to refresh his memory, I guess, as to where I am. Such a weird tutorial. Got past him. Okay, so we're done. Alright, so now what? Now let's try doing the same thing from long range. He's going to see me. Let's see what we can do. He's going to try targeting me for shooting. He's going to try and shoot me, basically. Okay. It's, I think it's very particular. I might not even need to do this in battle. See, now he's blindsided. From long range. Retreat to long range before a blindside action, okay? Did that work? 
Okay, I guess that didn't work. I was too far away. Does he see me though, is the question. He's supposed to shoot me at some point. He's not shooting me. See, I, oh, so it did work. So I guess I wasn't getting behind him. I was just kind of ducking his long range targeting. Oh yeah. Counterattacking the enemies to try to slip behind them. Okay. Try to blindside one of the enemies before it's become its attack. The enemy will automatically retaliate with a blindside counter. Okay. So it's, the game's going to force me to attack from close range. But watch him counter me. Come on. There we go. Come on. It takes him a while to get ready. Come on. There we go. Didn't work. All right, give it, give him a second. Does he need to refresh his memory? He needs to refresh his memory. He sees me. Come on, dingus. See, that was the counter. All right. Again, it's trying to figure out what the tutorial wants you to do sometimes. It's kind of weird. <laughs> These. Oh, if you target him from targeted by an enemy that uses bonds against the normal will appear red. Okay. If you attempt to perform a boss move in the state, you'll be can't. Okay, okay. Oh, even if the enemy is. <laughs> even enemies that use counters can be blindsided. Okay. Well, it's flashing, huh? Come on. I didn't get it. Okay, you'll see me in a second. Give him a second. There he goes. Hit me. Darn it, you got me. Well, that was my blind side. Okay, so it works. We sure only for judging whether or not... Well, Again, I'm not spending any time doing that in a regular fight, let's be honest. <laughs> Okay, change curriculum. Rage pointer. Arrow light comes to play these things called the range pointer. So you can catch when the players at the enemy's number one target. Oh yeah, it's drawing aggro basically. Red icons, focus on the blue icon means enemies walk to switch targets. Rage pointer one person the enemy being targeted by the kid. So in other words, only you got, I can only see it when I'm targeting an enemy. Alright. You can draw the rage pointer to yourself, draw aggro. Through actions such as attacking or using special arts or symbology. Which means for me, bashing on the attack button. You know, if you bronze side an enemy, you will lose sight of you, causing the pointer to switch to another character. Let's try moving the enemy target leader. Okay. Try to make the rage pointer facing the other character point to me instead. Okay. So my uh, twin brother over there is getting attacked. So I want the guy to attack me instead. So that means I gotta bash on the attack button. Then he'll get mad at me and start attacking me instead. That should, that should get his attention. Yep, see, it works. So basically, he was attacking my partner, so I started bashing the attack button, and then he got angry and started attacking me instead. You know, clap back. If you want to blindside an enemy, first call this rage pointer to face you by attacking the enemy. Okay, now I'll try making the rage pointer face the lead to another character. Make the rage pointer point to another character. Okay, so he's attacking me, but I want him to get off my case. So how do I do that? Let's get let's get let's get the other guy in front of me. How about that? Is he giving up yet? I'm not attacking him. Okay. I'm kind of hoping he gives up and decides to face somebody else. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, he won't get off my case. And I can't switch the camera around. By the way. Oh, so I have to make him lose sight of me. Okay. I think it's a lot easier, then. I can use the blind side. I try to use the blind side to make him lose sight of me. Okay, watch this. See? He's lost sight of me. 
So now that I've been blind, now that he's been blindsided, he will chase somebody else eventually. Okay, see, it worked. So get to his blind side and he'll start chasing somebody else. So that's the optimal way to play anyway. Let's see, blind side. Okay, we're done with that. Chain combo curriculum. Special arts can be assigned to the L2 and R2 buttons. These use magic. These, these, these combos use MP, if I'm not mistaken. Pressing L2 or R2 allows you to use special art or symbol assigned to that button. Can be set in the main menu or on the battle menu. Let's try using chain combos. Okay. Okay. Let's see what the L2 button does. That's the L2 button. 100 hand slap. Try this one more time. Let's try the R2 button instead. Rising Blade. Looks the same to me. Anyway, done. Yeah, you can incorporate, yeah, so if you press the X button before starting it, you can do, you can do a combo. You know, like a, a dial a combo. Like in Killer Instinct, right? I'm performing a normal attack, you can link, so you can link it into a chain combo. Alright, which I already did this already. So you'll see it again. Okay. X, L2. Okay. X, L2. See? Combo. A link, it's a, it's a link into a combo. Okay, from the second or third hits as well, okay. One, two, L2. So two regular attacks, then a chain combo. One, two, whoops. One, two, ah, do it again. One, two, three, chain combo. See? So I can do three hits and then a chain combo. If you're learning a certain skill, you'll be able to assign multiple arts to one button. Long as, okay. But they won't tell me what the skill is yet, because we just started the game. Okay, rage combos. I haven't had to do these yet. It's going to be rush combos. Freely attack enemies with a barrage of chain combos. When your rage meter is full, hold the square button, then press L2 or R2. Okay. So your rush combo, and prompt press will appear on the screen, follow them incorrectly, and other characters will join in with their own chain combos. Ooh. All right, so I have to wait till the rush meter. Well, the rush meter is full. So hold square and do L1. Oh, look at that. Oh, so I forgot to press the X button in time. Sorry, I messed that up. Let's try that again. I wasn't able to do this the last time I played. Okay, square L2. X. Am I supposed to mash the X button? Or do I have to time the X button? Let me try that again. Square L2. Okay, mashing the X button. Mashing the X button. Okay. QTE. Mash the X button. Press X to succeed. Press X to make the enemy die. Okay, so I guess that's what's going on. After gaining the ability to consign multiple attacks to a chain combo button, the number of rush combo can be linked together will likewise increase. Okay. Could be interesting. Of course, I can't do any of that yet. Text only. Initial battle conditions. This will explain the initial battle conditions. Okay, uh, there are no blind encounters here. Blind sides, but no blind encounters. So unlike Star Ocean 2, you see enemies coming on the screen. Uh, you'll see that in a second. Depending on how contact is made, initial battle conditions will change. If both you and the enemy contact each other from the front, the battle will begin normally. If the enemy hits me from behind, it's a surprise attack. And the enemies begin with partially charged rush gauges. Whoops. But if we sneak up on the enemy from behind, it's a preemptive attack. And if, you're in, if you contact while other enemies are in the vicinity, another arrow begin immediately following the conclusion. You haven't had that happen yet. That's an ambush. So an ambush begins on me and involved the ambush will be defeated before any experience. Okay. When the ambush is over, you receive total experience of four small battles, okay? So it's not just one battle against a mob. It could potentially be two, three, or four mobs in an ambush. Haven't had to see that. Haven't seen that yet, though. If you escape from any battle during the ambush, however, you can't escape during a battle, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Change curriculum. Text. Bonus board. I haven't, I, this hasn't been working for me yet. 
Uh, on the far right hand side of the screen, tiles can be added as you can, as you perform certain actions. Let's see. See bonuses after battle depending on how many tiles they add to your board. Defeat an enemy with a critical hit. And you get more experience if you do that. Yellow tiles can be added to the board. Yellow tiles will need to defeat multiple enemies with a single attack. Does that include a chain combo? Oh, we'll get to that later. More gold when you do that. Defeat an enemy with special arch or symbols only. That's magic or symbols. 1% of maximum HP replenish. That's actually very useful. Uh, note the green tiles have added bonus board. And green tiles appear on the other, which is triggered. You gain one party SP for each green tile. Don't know what party SP means, actually. I have to see what that's about. Okay. Accumulation is kind of interesting. The party leader takes a critical hit. All tiles accumulated thus far will collapse. Kind of like uh, the tiles are interesting here. They're kind of like Resonance of Fate. But anyway, go back and check out my video of Resonance of Fate if you're curious. Uh, they'll also collapse if the leader is incapacitated or if you escape from battle. So you don't, obviously you don't get bonuses if the, the leader runs away. If you mess with each other, they'll link together and glow. That's cute. And this is the case. If you take a quick hit, only half of the link tiles will collapse. Oh, okay. Collecting and linking tiles are the same color. You can reduce your losses. Again, in, in the heat of combat, I'm curious if that's helpful. It might be useful for certain strategies, though, against certain enemies. Because remember, Valkyrie Profile had that whole system with the, with the, what is it, the stamina recharging gems and the experience bonus crystals. Check out my Valkyrie Profile video if you're interested. Status boosts, huh? A lot of combat in this video, don't worry, we'll get, to, we'll get to the real combat a bit later. Each status boost lasts for a set duration of time, and the effect remains active for as long as that time lasts. We have the four hectare status boosts at a time. With the fifth status boost, the oldest active effect is automatically removed. Okay. That's on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen next to my uh, picture. Attack. Defense. Attack. Okay, that's cute. Some status boosts can be stacked, while others are limited to a single use. Okay. For status boosts that cannot be stacked, I think it will simply cause the old effect replaced by a new one. Okay. All right. What next? Beats. This was. This is so weird. The beat system allows you to select a fighting style for each character. Beat S, beat B, and B N. Beat S is a strike beat. It's an offensive style that places emphasis on blindsiding opponents. Which is what I normally use when I'm playing as this guy right here. Attack, intelligence, and hit receive boost, and extra blindside effects become available. As your beats S rank rises, the parameter boosts and number of in extra effects increase. The burst is a defensive fighting style that places emphasis on utilizing rush mode. That's what my archer character does. You'll see her in a second. Endurance related parameters such as defense, guard, and maximum HP receive boosts. Really? Get max, get an HP boost? An extra rush mode effect become available. As your beat B rank character rises, the parameter, okay. Neutral allows you to receive parameter boost based on your current ranks, okay. However, the extra blind sign of rush mode effects will not be available. B has no ranks of its own. If you achieve victory while in beat S or B, the skill gauge for the chosen beat. So if I'm playing as, a, as an S or a B and I win a fight, that's going to go up. But if I'm playing as an N, Beat rank will increase. Okay, note that beat N has neither skill, gauge, nor ranks. Okay. So don't use beat N unless you don't want to gain skill in either, in either style, I guess. But yeah, you can switch the style up, which I think is kind of interesting. You can do an, an offensive uh, style or defensive style. Like Vanessa in Virtual Fighter 4, I suppose. Okay. Okay, we'll do a tiny bit of practice and go back to the game. The proper game. So let's just see what happens. Yep, we got a problem already. <laughs> okay, that guy's in the air. Switch people. Nah, not gonna switch. Yes, yeah, switch. I'm pressing start. Now I can switch. So I can't switch while the guy's in the air. Okay, where's my rush meter? Now it's charged. Square L2. Perfect. Mash on the X button. Succeed. 
Mash on the X button. Succeeded. This might be overkill, by the way. Mash on the X button. I think he's dead. Okay, let's get that rush meter recharged. Okay. Come on. Let's do a blind side. Circle button. Come on, hit me. What? Shouldn't have done that. Okay, that wasn't a blind side. If it looks like a blind side, it's technically not a blind side. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Not a blind side. Okay, whatever. Let's get that rush meter up. Where'd he go? There he goes. <laughs> Look at that! It's Benny Hill all over again. Okay, let's press the uh, R3 to make the camera a bit more static. No, oh, stop. He's up. Switch. Up he goes. Let's get a rush meter going. Whoops. Press the. I targeted the wrong enemy. Sorry. Okay, now it's full. So who do I target? That guy. That guy's strong. Square. Okay. Square L2. No, that didn't work. Okay, I lost that rush meter. Okay, that guy's almost dead. Who do I want? Okay, they're both running out of energy. So let's just do a regular attack. Okay, yeah, I did it wrong. I tried to do the chain combo. It didn't work. The super, the super rush mode combo. Well, let's charge it up. Whoops. Let's do a regular combo. Nope, can't do that. Waiting. Whoop, missed. Let's get, okay, let's get two hits off. I'm running out of MP, so I can't do this. Whoops. Try and do one blind side then. Okay, hit me with the blind side. Come on, come on. Does he see me? Come on, hit me. Or whatever, I'll just beat him up. Why waste my time looking for blind sides anyway? He's not targeting me. Let one last guy. I might need to blind side this guy. One. Darn it. He's going to aggro on the other guy. That's probably why. Let's beat this guy up and target him. And my rush isn't strong enough. This guy keeps running away, which is the other problem. See, see his rage meter over there is in blue. So he's not targeting me. He's targeting my boy right there. Whoops. This guy's blocking me. It's kind of hard to go draw aggro on a guy who's blocking all your attacks. See, he's running up. Slow down, you son of a... Just a second. Got him. Okay, let's finish him off. Whoops. Let's see if I can get to the other side of him. He's driving me nuts. No, you don't. See? Problem solved. With violence. So the game lets you come back here anytime you want, which I really like. You can also do this on the ship that we'll see in just a second. Before we get too much further, let me show you uh, how we started the game. Game starts on this ship. We're going to try and skip a bunch of stuff. Actually, yeah, we'll skip ahead. You'll get a chance to see a... Again, we don't do... Uh, cinematics or cutscenes in my channel, and you're gonna see why in a second because this game has some awful cutscenes. <laughs> you're gonna see some, this game is gonna remind you of Thunderbirds in space. That's how awful the CGI modeling is on these characters. It's awful animation. Okay, so this is the ship. The frame rate on this ship is actually not bad, it's up to like 25 to 30 FPS, but when we get out, when we get uh, planet side, it gets really bad in a hurry. It's actually kind of embarrassing. Uh, so let's go down here. Because eventually we're going to trigger the next area. Here we go. That's another save point. And this should be the, uh, the deck. Flight deck. Yep, right here. I'm supposed to talk to one of these people. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, there's my archer character. Remy. Remy. Yeah, Remy. Yes, my name is Edge. Edge Maverick. Yeah. 
Uh, now we're ready to go. Let's get moving. So we're going to see a bit of the cutscene here, and then we're going to get out of these cutscenes as soon as possible. See, look at this. I'm, by this is, obviously, I'm using the S video cables. This, this, this stuff looks even worse in HDMI. God, this scene. Oh, my God. Yes, we're skipping this. <laughs> I actually sat through the whole thing, and I, I, I was watching the cutscenes before recording this video, and I immediately started regretting it because of crap like this. Um, ugh. wow. So now we're gonna skip ahead to the next, slightly less annoying cutscene. Oh yeah, we've crash landed. Um, well, basically we're supposed to wander around and talk to uh, the archer lady. There she is. Raimi. Uh, just a second. Get up, Raimi. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me get the camera reset. There. Get up, Raimi. Yeah, cut to the next uh, Blu-ray video. <laughs> yeah, here we go. You might not be able to see this with the S video cable that I'm using. See, check out the close ups. Once, once the game starts closing in on these characters' faces, you can see their eyes. These people look like marionettes, and they move like marionettes. See, like, like, like you'll probably see a bit of this right here. As bad as this looks, it looks even worse in HD. Because all the characters just look like dolls, and their and they and their and their body movements—they look like they're being—they they look like they're being moved by strings. It's bizarre. And when these characters blink, it looks again. It looks like a doll eye blink. It's 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 it. Well, this is an uncanny valley. It, they look like dolls in HD. It's really terrible. <laughs> so this is so I guess their budget really wasn't up to snuff. Although, to be fair, obviously, this game looks a lot better than, say, Star Ocean 2, where the CGI didn't even have human... There were no characters in those CGI scenes. There was literally just scenes of buildings collapsing and birds flying over water. There was nothing like that. There were no human beings in any of the CGI scenes in Star Ocean 2, which is weird because Final Fantasy VII had those... You know, they had cut... You could see Cloud and Eris and Tifa in those cutscenes. You can, but you never saw your characters in Star, o in Star Ocean 2. You can never see them in the cutscenes. I guess I can understand why. Because the game, the way the game worked out, you know, certain characters wouldn't be in your party at certain times of the game. So, I guess logistically, it just didn't make sense to animate them if there was no guarantee they were going to be in your party at the time the CGI cutscene took place. So it was just weird. Um, I, I cut away from that... Uh, Welch scene pretty quickly, <laughs> so you couldn't see all the other bad footage where you know my main character is sitting at a computer screen, you know, moving his arms like a like he's being controlled by a by a ventriloquist. It's really terrible. And as you can see, the frame rate here is really bad. Uh, frame rate probably in the twenties. Highly detailed, but I mean, compared to something like you know, what's another RPG that had a similar? Well, I mean, to be honest, we're talking about a game where the frame rate's actually worse than Skyrim on the PS3, which I didn't think was possible. <laughs> so I want to say Skyrim was usually in the 20s on the PS3. Treasure chest. Looks like an alien egg, yeah. It's a treasure chest. These blueberries are for health. By the way, there's a safe spot here. By the way, in case you're wondering, you really can't go anywhere from here at this point in the game. See, it's blocked off. And we have to talk to her, so we'll get to that. We can also go back onto the ship, but there's nothing to do on the ship. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time here. I just wanted you to kind of see where I am. 
I'll end the video with a, with a better slab of combat. So here's, so here's where we should be able to go north. Press start. And you can see where we should be able to explore, but we can't because this area is blocked off. So let's go to the other side of this thing and talk to the story trigger. The music's kind of blowing out my speakers here. Of course, the speakers on this TV aren't that great anyway. I'm supposed to be talking. Where's uh, where's the archer lady, uh, Raimi? Where is she? We keep. All, I'm gonna have to call. I'm gonna have to change her name to Archer. There she is. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So I forgot what I did to get out of here. I guess I had to explore the ship or whatever. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna say something. Okay. Get to it, Sid. I'm sure you'll do great. Look who you're talking to. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that means we can skip ahead. By the way, I pressed the select button to get rid of the mini-map. I don't know why you would do that. Oh, there's a compass here. I didn't even know there's a compass here. That wasn't in my earlier video. At least when I was practicing earlier. Press the, R, press the uh, R1 button to readjust the camera directly behind you. I thought. Yeah, or so I thought. Let's try this again. Okay. L2 and R2 don't do anything yet. Alright, so let's uh, press the start button. Not the start button. The X, the me, the menu button is with the triangle. Items. You got blueberries that restore health. Blackberries, the best kind of berries, give you MP. Fresh sage revives incapacitation and restores thirty percent of your health and magic. That's fine. Uh, skills. Mad skills. Use skills. Well, I don't have any skills at this point in the game. We'll get to that. Skill boost. I haven't, I haven't done this yet. I probably, need to, I probably need to do that. Allows you to run on screen. Oh, press the square button while running to use. Okay. That's something I forgot to do. Hold on. Okay. Press L. Wait, what? Weird. Press L, press R2. Press R2 again. Now I'm running. R2 to walk. R2 again to run. Okay, press hold square. Oh, there's my sprint. Okay. Tap square. Okay, I see what's going on. Totally forgot to do that earlier. Okay, so that helps. Uh, menu. Uh, let's see. Characters. Status. Well, I have one right now. Beat. Beat S. He's a strike offensive character. Okay. So we'll get to that later. Data. Data. Commander data. Recipes. Now, this is interesting. The synopsis. So you don't have to sit through those crappy cutscenes anymore. Awesome, huh? No accepted quests yet. We'll get those later in the game. Trophies. Defeat 100 enemies, attack first five times in a row, we'll get to that. Spaceships, we'll get to those later. Weapons, we only have one right now, we'll unlock more later. Monsters, we'll be seeing a bunch more of those a bit later. Uh, I'll go to another game save where I have more monsters unlocked. Settings. Blindside animation, I don't know what that's about, we'll see what that does. Visual style, you can go... CG, modern, Blech. or we can go anime style. <laughs> anime was not a mistake in this case. I had to switch the camera around because it was kind of annoying to move the camera left and right. Bad allies are on. English or Japanese voice acting. We'll stick with the Japanese, sorry. It's international though, so that's, I guess that's what the international mode means. Um, I have the voices turned on high, but sometimes during the cutscenes you can't hear the voices over the music, which is kind of weird. So it's actually kind of merciful, let's be honest. So let's do a load. 
before we run out of time. Maybe we got about five minutes. Okay. So this is where we were. So let's go over here and skip ahead to the next load, and I'll show you what's going on. I think this is where you can see my uh, Archer character, Raimi, joining me. So you get to see some real combat before we end the video. Okay, so I want to say this next area has been unlocked, so let's see. Sprint. Let's get to the other side of this thing. Yeah, see? Okay, this is a cutscene. You're supposed to see this, okay. So this is the part of the game where Raimi joins me, because earlier in the game, during a cutscene you didn't see, um, they're attacked by these arachnid things from Starship Troopers. Raimi, um, says, don't fight them, run away. And he's like, no, go away, I'll go away, I'll fight them off. So she cowers and runs away into the ship. He saves everybody. He comes back on the ship and she's mad at him for doing something stupid. So basically she's mad at him for saving everybody. So now she's joining him because, you know, she wants to keep him out of trouble. Right? Okay. Regular combat. Actually, let me just show you something. You can't see this. On the far, go east, look all the way over to the east. There's going to be a, another area we can visit. Whoops, I have to go east. Just a second. Got to sprint past these guys. There we go. Okay, see over there on the far right-hand side of the screen? There's a little blue cross over there. That's where I need to go to get to the next area. So I can basically just make a beeline for that area, and I'll show you why in a second. This is how I get past it. I totally forgot how to do how to I didn't totally forgot that I had this ability. Guess I wasn't paying attention. So I can press the square button to sprint. And I'll show you why I'm doing all this a bit later. Let me uh load my last game save so you can see some real combat. Okay, and I'll show you why I'm going. Well, I'll show you why I made so many game saves in a second. Mainly so you can see all. I'm also recording the music, so I have checkpoints basically. Okay, press the start button. That's the safe point where we are. The blue cross that is northeast of us takes us to a cave that we had to run through to get here. I avoided all combat. We're gonna go west because there's a little yellow circle with a, a vertical parentheses, I want to call it. It's a circle over there that's west of us. I wanted to go there because we can, we can recharge our health there. So it's going to be a great place to grind. So you'll be able to see me uh, practice the combat and recharge my health completely. Whoops. Okay, so I get to do one quick fight. Actually, let me just, let's skip out of this. We were surprised. Let's see how quickly we can escape. Press the triangle button. We get this battle menu. We can't really do anything here, can we? Well, we can set up our skills. That's good to know. I don't have any other skills. Oh, well. Cancel. Let's escape. We can escape. So no problem. So in the time that I have left, let's make a beeline for that yellow circle. Just a second. Hold on. Yeah, see that right there? That is a life regeneration sphere. I don't even know what it's called. That's what it does. So we're going to stay here and grind. So let's go back and fight this enemy. Let's sneak up on this dude. This big, giant stink bug. Preemptive attack. Let's wipe him out. Okay, so let's use what we've learned. Whoops. Should have... Should have I pressed the wrong button to switch. I shouldn't have done that. Don't press the L1 buttons. Press the L2 buttons. Whoops. There he is. Okay, I should I should I did an uppercut. I didn't mean to. I got for that guy. Wrong button. There we go. Did he block all my combos? No, he didn't. Okay, I want a rush attack on this guy. I probably won't need it though. He's going down. Finally. Okay. So you got to see me win a fight. Oh, the models here look a little bit better than the ones in the cutscenes. Didn't get any bonus tiles, though, so that was kind of annoying. Didn't get any trophies, either. Okay, 
let's check out my, um, okay, so you see I lost MP and I lost HP. Remy's fine, though, but we'll go back into that sphere and recharge everything. See? So now everything's recharged. 